remarkable. The last I saw of that ship, she was on fire. A blackened hulk sinking beneath the waves. We had a deal, Jack. I contracted you to deliver cargo on my behalf. You chose to liberate it. People aren't cargo, mate. And you incurred a heavy debt to raise her up again, didn't you? It's not here, Jack. What? What isn't? The heart of Davy Jones. It's safely aboard the Dutchman and so unavailable for use as leverage to satisfy your debt to the good captain. By my reckoning, that account has been settled. By your death. And yet, here you are. Close your eyes and pretend it's all a bad dream. That's how I get by. Your good deed cost me, Jack. And you have spared me any possibility of ending up as anything other than what I am. And for that, I truly thank you. Will someone be in soon to draw you about? It'd be so nice if all of us could be on holiday year-round. But someone must ensure that the world turns properly. People are what they love, Jack. And what they love is cargo. They love spices and linens and silks and plantains. And as long as it is delivered on time and in sufficient supply, then they are content to be nothing more than figures on a ledger. Peanut. You're a clever man, Jack. You know I'm right. If you're offering me a seat on the board, I'm neither depraved enough nor drunk enough to accept. Well, then perhaps you'll consider an alternative arrangement. One which requires absolutely nothing from you but information. Regarding the Brethren Court, no doubt. In exchange for fair compensation. Square my debt with Jones. Guarantee my freedom? Of course. It's just good business. Were I in a divulgatory mood, what then might I divulge? Everything. Where are they meeting? Who are the pirate lords? What is the purpose of the nine pieces of eight? I think I'd prefer to maintain my monopoly on those answers. Just good business in here. You haven't changed. Enjoy the gallows. I've been. Once you've taken in the view, there's really not much else to it. Now, far be it from me to give advice to you. But if I were me and you were you, we each had the same lack of trust in the other. Imagine you're me. You being me would propose that rather than you telling me, being you, where the Brethren Court is meeting, You'd lead me there instead. Whereupon, you could serve up to me the pirate lords, the nine pieces of eight and the whole of the brethren caught on a silver platter. And you being me, I would likely accept such an offer if I were you. Savvy? On a silver platter. With a frilly linen napkin and a spicy banana on the side. 